Rolls-Royce said it has begun testing its replacement engines for the Air Force's B-52 fleet. The Air Force picked Rolls-Royce's F-130 engines and will take delivery of more than 600 engines once they are ready for flight. The company said it will be the first time its F-130 engine has been tested side-by-side -side in the dual-pod configuration used for the B-52's eight total engines. Rolls-Royce is testing the engines at a NASA facility in Mississippi, and it will be measuring how they perform in crosswind conditions while tracking operations for the electronic engine control system. F-130s are derived from Rolls-Royce's BR family of engines and, according to program director Scott Ames, they're durable enough to stay on wing for the duration of the B-52 aircraft's lifespan. He said this will reduce maintenance costs and allow the B-52 fleet to keep going for decades. The engines will be manufactured at the company's facility in Indianapolis. The Air Force in 2021 awarded the $2.6 billion contract for the replacement engines to Rolls-Royce after a competitive selection process. The new engines are replacing the TF-33 PW-103, which have powered the B-52 since the 1960s, but are projected to no longer be supportable beyond 2030. The first two fully modified B-52s were projected for delivery by the end of 2025, so it seems that Rolls-Royce is on track to meet that goal. The Air Force said in 2021 that it expects the first lot of operational B-52s with the new engines to arrive by the end of 2028, and that the entire fleet will be modified by 2035. The B-52 is a long-range bomber built for strategic attacks, close air support, air interdiction, offensive counter-air, and maritime operations. It's capable of flying at high subsonic speeds at altitudes up to 50,000 feet. I'm Ben Munson, and this is IEN Now.